<laughs> we can get ready. ready. Let me look for it. I need to find one positive. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The Gist where we look at Nollywood movies and African cinema in general. My name is Ade. And my name is Coyote. Today we have another movie called Weekend Getaway and this was directed by Desmond Elliott. And basically the story is three groups of people descend upon the tropical paradise of Le Meridian Hotel. A man meeting his online love, a married couple hoping to rekindle their passion and a wealthy cougar. What ensues next, we're about to discuss. So what did you think about this movie? Okay, let's start with the positives. <laughs> Don't laugh now. Oh, I'm laughing because <laughs> I, I am struggling to find <laughs> Okay, I, I, will, I will try, I will try. I think what, if I can give them any praise, it's what they, were, what they set out to try and achieve. Hmm. It's one thing they did achieve it. Hmm. Uh, but they tried to have this ensemble type of... Um, Film. I like Nigerian films that try to do something either that hasn't been done before or a new take of something that we, we're used to doing in a particular way. And I think we're used to stories about multiple couples, you know, that resort kind of feeling. But I think they've never tried to do where there are multiple um, stories, not just for the couples, but different agendas as well. Um, also, there were a few performances in there that I think I really liked. Um, there's the one with Ime Bishop and um, Iniedo. Okay. Yeah, their love yeah. scene was quite humorous. <laughs> I mean, um, Ime Bishop is like one of my, he's become my, my, my favorite comedian. But to be honest, apart from the story, I'm not sure there's much else I liked about the film. Okay. Positives for me. Hmm. Okay. No way. A couple of nice transitions from scene to scene. There were a couple of things I think the editor kind of put in there and kind of worked. Um, I also liked some of the dialogue. There was some witty banter between some of the characters that, you know, there were glimpses where it got you into the character and all of a sudden it began to go in a different direction. You're like, okay, this isn't working. That being said, negatives. <laughs> She's laughing. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Sound issues. Did they play music throughout the movie? I can't. Miss it was like there was music throughout the movie. It was like bishing, bishing, bishing. We're like, come on. All through the movie, and then there were glitchy sound issues whenever they were outside. Oh, yeah, were, yeah, it yeah, was of noise. It was just movie. glitchy. Uh, too many parallel stories. There was this homage that I think they were trying to play to Made in Manhattan. They were trying to bring that kind of a story into it and it just didn't quite work. Yeah. There was um, the, the idea of having so many characters with parallel stories, a bit like Crash and, you know, and Jean-Vive, Guenevive, your character. I didn't understand what you were trying to steal. <laughs> <laughs> Other than eye candy, I don't know what you were trying to steal. <laughs> Because I'm just being honest. You know that the, the part where she, there was supposed to be this guy who was in love with her and then he was also trying to be op opposing her. I mean, if, you, if you're a high international spy or sack, yeah. which is the impression they were giving of these guys? And it's a bit like out of sight with <laughs> exactly. um, George Clooney. And then you're falling in love with the enemy. And then it, it's, it's, it's like confusing. It's just... Oh, I, I didn't get it. I thought you could do that in a romantic comedy and get away with it. But then yeah. they were trying to make it too serious when they were together. Like, you look more like dramas against comedy. So that kind of like unnerved me. I wasn't sure where to place. I'm sorry. It's hard for me, but there was very little <laughs> to enjoy in this film. I, I just found it incredibly confusing. I kept on getting confused about what exactly I was supposed to expect of yeah. what was happening. Yeah. And I think that was a letdown because they did have a good cast. The cast, that cast is good enough. To yeah, it was an film. ensemble cast. Yeah. I guess you already know what our verdict is. <laughs> Sorry, don't don't watch it. Sorry, Desmond. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm sure you can do better next time. But for this particular one, I uh, no. <laughs> See me. My, my, it's like do not bother watching because it's. I don't know. It, there was just not anything that I could hold on to. Sometimes you watch a film where the cinematography is rubbish, but the story is really great. Or the story was just okay, but the performances were brilliant. And then you can tell the audience and say, look, it, for, it's not great, but it's still worth a watch. With this, there was very little for me to hang my hat on, so unfortunately, yeah. to be, don't, don't bother. 
And just to give you a little background as in why did we actually review a film that we knew we weren't going to like? Well, we, it gave us some sort of hope that this was actually going to be a good film and by the time we watched it, we found that it wasn't. And we're doing our due diligence to tell you that we don't want to put you through the same experience. <laughs> so <laughs> don't bother watching it. But on that note, thank you for watching this episode of The Gist. And you can catch us on nollywoodbullywood.com where you can sign up to our forums and be a part of the conversation. Let us know what you thought about this movie. If you have watched it, if you still intend to watch it, what you think in general. Um, also catch us on Facebook where please like, share, tell your friends about it, spread the word, get it out there. Onto YouTube, subscribe. Let us know how we're doing. Thank you. I will see you next time. Today we have another movie and it's none other than Weekend Getaway. Weekend Getaway was directed, okay, I did not introduce <laughs> us. I was in, I was just letting him roll on. <laughs> <laughs>